My name is Stephanie Foster. Uh, I teach in the Women in Politics Institute here at American, and I focus a lot on women world leaders, basically women in the political sphere. Internationally, uh, right now, only about 20% of uh, parliamentarians are women. So we have a long way to go to really reach parity between men and women in parliament. And one of the most important things to really do is help women to learn how to run for office. So I've authored a manual, uh, Advocacy and Running for Office, which really helps in a very concrete way walk through the steps of what you need to do to run a successful campaign. And I've used that manual around the world to train women on how to run for office. Women that I've worked with really like a step-by-step -step manual that can help them understand exactly what they need to do to plan their run for office. So really what the manual is is a how-to book that can help you think through the most important issues to you as you're thinking about running for office. So for example, uh, you want to talk about your message to voters in a manner that helps them understand why they should vote for you. I call it the why should I care test. If you can't answer the question, why should I care, why should I vote for you, uh, then you haven't done your job in trying to convince a voter. I think that often uh, we see women involved at the community level they don't take the next step and, and run for the next office that sort of is the trajectory to becoming president of their country. One of the reasons the manual is important is we're seeing a change in the past that women take to power. What we saw earlier in the 20th century was that a lot of women who got elected to office followed a father, a brother, a family member who had been either assassinated uh, or left office or died. For example, we have the Gandhis, we have Benazir Bhutto, we have lots of family dynasties but now more and more what we're seeing is women actually taking what I would call a more traditional path to power, which is starting at the bottom of their political parties and their political structures and working their way up to the top. Those are people like Angela Merkel, like Margaret Thatcher, Dilma Rousseff in Brazil. These are women who started at the bottom essentially and worked their way up. So I think we need to think about, and now that women are taking a more traditional path to power, how we arm them to do that well. What we see, though, is that we really need to start with women when they're in school or in their villages, really working with them on how to run for office, how to try to affect their communities. And so I really think it would be great if a manual, uh, this manual, was something that people were using around the world to really teach young girls and young boys the importance of civic engagement, of being involved in politics, and really being involved in decisions that get made about their lives. 